Virgo. What is the word, Joe? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vira. It is Scorpion Bread Tarot. I am back at it again, my dear, to let you know what the energy is going on for you for the month of February. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. So this video should be going up on Valentine's Day, if not the day after. I'm pretty sure it would be Valentine's Day. So shout out to everyone. I hope that everyone is experiencing and having a day of just love and laughter and joy and prosperity and peace um shout out to all my virgos thank you so much and shout out to all my ogs and all my newbies that's clicked this video um peace and love to all y'all peace love and soul baby yes we about to get some soul energy today okay Listen, um, thank you to everyone for like, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you to everyone who has been booking um, readings, who's been donating to the page. You guys have just sent me some amazing books that I just started reading on, okay? You guys sent me, listen, I'm knocking stuff over, the Mercury Retrograde book. And you guys know the Mercury Retrograde is definitely coming up in the Moonology book. I've already started reading this one, y'all. Well, y'all ain't send me no Savage Fancy, but check out Savage Fancy, y'all. Listen, y'all already know, okay? It's Valentine's Day. Y'all listen, I hope y'all got y'all Savage Fancy packages. Come on, girl. Do your thing, girl. Do your thing, girl. And toot it up, okay? Listen, I hope y'all that. <laughs> Having an amazing Valentine's Day. And even if you don't have a Valentine's Day boo, get yourself sexy. Turn, put on your lingerie. Put on that red dress. Hey! And sip on them high heels. Listen, put on something nice. Put on some nice smelly goods. Put on some nice lingeries. And date yourself today. Make you something real good. Turn on some music and just do it up for yourself. Buy yourself some chocolates. Buy yourself some roses. Okay? Listen, y'all do y'all thing tonight. Okay? But let me get into this, y'all. Virgo, y'all already know. So listen. <laughs> If there's anyone that wants to book a personal private read with me, only thing you need to do is click that about tab. My pricing list is there. You connect with me on Instagram. And if you don't have an Instagram, you can do the video reading with me on Google Hangouts. It's an easy app to, da um, to download. Just download Google Hangouts. The only thing we need to exchange is my email. So my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com, which is also linked on the about tab um if you guys if these videos resonate and you guys want to send some love over to the page or something um all of the contacts and ways of support is on the about tab and again if you guys if any of this stuff is coming out and it's really hitting home and it's resonating with you and you guys want to chat with me you can again contact me on instagram or you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com because man we be getting deep in here y'all be telling me listen we be chatting so, if y'all ever want to reach out to me, y'all make sure that y'all don't ever hesitate, okay? So, let's say a quick prayer over the energy, you guys. Um, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Virgo. Uh, we're here to figure out which energies is surrounding us for the month of February, Father God. Uh, you already know that um, we aim for perfection and peace in everything that we do father god i feel like right now um we came out of a lot of chaotic situations and peace is like so very present in our life it's like things are more peaceful things are more under control things are more balanced um i think we kind of have a little bit more know-how of how not to put other people's needs before our own and put ourselves first so that peace can always be present in every single aspect of everything that we do father god we are so focused father god okay i am focused man yes indeed so Father God, continue to just lay hands on us. Continue to just show us our footsteps so we can stay on our path, Father God. That's all we ask is we just want to be close to you all through and through, Father God. Um, we're going to have a beautiful day today and every day. Just continue to just be present in our life, Father God, so that, you know, we can just stay balanced and stay in this this point of leadership it's about leadership right now it's about us taking the lead in our life so um give us guidance for this february thank you for today and every day we pray amen all right let's get into this let's see what type of love guidance we got here for my virgos what we got going on in february for my oh 
It says imagine, imagine all unwanted th balance, balance. Y'all remember um, <laughs> y'all remember um, on Martin. What was the uh the kung fu man? Remember he be like silence, silence. So it's like I'm getting him, but he's saying balance, balance, girl. Okay, look, balance, balance. Don't nobody want to hear all that crying and all that sobbing and all that stuff, girl. Balance, okay. I need someone that's going to be the yin to my yang. Someone that's going to be balanced. I don't need no one that is. I, it's like I can't, I can't be being a pushover, and I can't be pushed over. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like I can't be being a pushover, and I can't be pushed over, and I don't want no one that is just easily pushed over. You know what I'm saying? Like I need someone that's balanced. I don't need all this soft shit all the fucking time. And maybe sometimes that's like even the Virgos recognizing that. Like sometimes I could be too like 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 I said can. Put other people's needs and their wants and their desires and their feelings and you know how you know it before your own like being put no 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 balance balance I'm not I'm not doing that no more and you're not doing that no more you know what I'm saying like honestly this person feels like someone that's a pushover and and is not kind of balanced and standing firm and sturdy in their life it's kind of unattractive to them you know what i'm saying it's not a good quality i need someone with balance it says love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it okay can't be being no pushover baby it says a great relationship is one that both supports and challenges you know what i'm saying like i'm there to support you but i'm also there to challenge you if something ain't right this shit is not right you know what i'm saying it's not right no one is coming at you trying to attack you but at the same time it's like someone always just agreeing for fuck's sake it just to just to have a happy home and it's like no like this is someone that's saying you, you whoever they're dealing with is starting to ignore you know annoy them because it's like if we're going somewhere and I'm saying where you want to go to the movies right and it's like wherever you want to go no I need you to have your own opinions you know what I'm saying like don't just say that you want to do this when I know you really don't want to go see the fucking photograph you know what I'm saying like you really don't want to go see that movie you want to go see something else like a more action movie don't just agree just to agree and then it's like someone just being a straight pushover and it's like I want to see you with more backbone it's like, don't always feel like you need to please me and satisfy what I want all of the time. It's like, that's becoming annoying for someone. It's like, I want to see you have more personality, more backbone, more substance to yourself. It's like, you're too easily moldable, you know? Like, that's, that's, that's what I'm getting. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship both supports and challenges. It's like I need someone that challenges me. I need someone that is when I'm acting like a brat or I'm acting like a bitch that's able to tell me no, that's able to straighten me out. Like how are you going to straighten me out when I'm going wrong if you agree with every fucking thing that I say? You know what I'm saying? Like everything that I say, everything that I do is not right. You know, like I need someone that's going to be balance for me that's going to be the yin to my yang it says imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light create room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life so whatever this is that is annoying whatever these type of character flaws or traits or something that you ever see within yourself because i also feel like some of the virgos feel like i'm the pushover i'm you know because there's a lot of times where it's shit that i really don't want to do but i'll just do it just because I want to like keep an argument for happen, or I just want everybody to be happy but really deep inside I'm not happy you know so it's like I need to reach deep inside and figure out well what do I need to do to grow you know and maybe me not being balanced maybe me being a pushover and me just like you know just agreeing just to agree and not challenging myself and actually saying no you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes people are, are scared to tell people no because they feel like, oh, they're not going to like me no more or this person is going to get mad. Who gives a fuck about if they get mad? You know what I'm saying? Who cares? It's about you being balanced. It's about you 
getting on them uh, because when you keep being a pushover and allowing other people to force their direction on you that's where those unwanted thoughts come from you know what i'm saying because i really don't want to be here you know what i'm saying so when you gain that balance and you're able to say no, you're able to stand up for yourself, you're able to create room for new opportunities and possibilities to come into your life because you are creating balance, you know, you will have this sacred union right here. Do you see this? A sacred union and a positive union is one that both supports you, but it challenges you too. You know what I'm saying? Like anyone that would say will catch a temper tantrum because and, and that's another thing because a lot of people are yes mans or yes girls or something like that and always saying yes and always giving in and always allow yourself to be pushed over and then the one time that you say no then these motherfuckers really show you who they are you know and then you're like well, well who the fuck was I dealing with you know what I'm saying because if I'm challenging you and I'm saying no this one time, you should still support me. It shouldn't all just be about you. You know, what I'm, like that's what I'm getting. I'm getting like a, I'm getting a relationship where <laughs> I'm getting a relationship where it's one person. I, I don't want to say it's a tyrant, but it's like. I'm getting Brit Brat, you know, like from, um, <laughs> what's the show, The Game, like little sport ass, little fucker girl, you know what I'm saying, just spoiled as shit, you know what I'm saying, I always think they're about to get their way, and I, I, I feel like as someone that, um, either it's starting to irritate them that someone is a pushover like that, and allows, allows you to run over them, or they're tired of allowing someone else to push their self on them and them being a push over they're tired of this they want a sacred union honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred you guys want a union that is sacred where it's like you guys create balance and create peace and harmony within each other like um again both supports and challenges each other you you, you don't want someone that you're going to be scared to say no to because they're going to throw a temper, a temper tantrum or you feel like oh if i don't give somebody what i used to give them anymore because i can't afford to give it to them no more or i don't want to give like that no more maybe i want to be on the receiving end of it if i say no that this person's not going to like me no more this person's not going to be my friend no more it's going to be an uproar or something like that i don't want this you know what i'm saying i don't want a relationship like that so imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into the light create room for new possibilities and opportunities in your life you want a sacred union you want a union that is going to create balance and harmony and some of you guys are tired of being, you know, a pushover. And some of you guys are tired of dealing with people that don't have no backbone and that are being pushed over by you. You want someone with some balance. What is this? The moon in the reverse. Ciao. 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 Okay, bitch. Okay. I am reloading. What's going on? <laughs> First off, do y'all see this moon card? That's a whole lot going on. Y'all know, like, the moon card represents fears. It represents anxieties. It represents secrets and stuff. And then in the reverse, this represents some shit about to be coming out. Something about to be exposed, okay? All right? Or this can mean that someone's allowing their fears. It's like someone got... Someone has some type of thoughts that someone is out there like being very frivolous with their body, basically, like multiple partners or like some type of sex orgy party or some shit. Or I'm going to put it to you like this. You know, like every time that your partner says, oh, I'm going out with Bruce tonight. And you already know, Bruce is a fucking whore. Bruce always be going and fucking with little whore ass bitches. So it's like you might not trust your man going out with Bruce because you know anytime that Bruce is out, Bruce is always in trouble with his wife about him cheating and having affairs and going to whorehouses and doing this, this, and that. So it's like, um, it's like your worst fears turning into reality or something like that like you're tired of being pushed over it's like some type of secret is being exposed um i don't know 
if your boyfriend or your girlfriend, I'm hearing Sheila, I don't know, like some girl named Sheila or hanging out with some little slut ass bitch named Sheila and like this girl is a whore and she's loose and you really don't want it's like whoever this friend is of your spouse uh Sheila or Bruce or whatever it's like Sheila and Bruce they're bad news for whoever it is that you're dating okay and clearly you see it's two women and two men so whenever this person is with the other person they're not going out doing whatever they say that they're doing they're going to concerts they're going to go watch the football game no they are they they both have someone else on the side and they use each other for escape goats so they can see you know what I'm saying like it's like a situation where um like Bruce might have already had a mistress that he was cheating on his wife with and every time Bruce go hang out with his mistress he always say he with your husband right and Bruce done hooked your husband up with his mistress best friend or the mistress sister so now Bruce and your husband every time they with each other they with each other but they with each other doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like someone might have had like some. Like a deep gut feeling. Like every time that you out with this person. Like you out cheating or doing something. What is this? The queen of chalices in the reverse. Yeah, this is something that is most definitely leaving someone. With a lot of anxiety. Um, a lot of unwanted emotions and things. You know. Um, like this is a point where this woman is starting to become insecure. Because it's like every time you walk out of this door. With this queen of chalices. It's like I. I'm scared that this person is cheating on me. And the more and more and more that things are. Time is going along. Things are starting to reveal itself. It's like things are starting to come out. You see like. You see this mirror? You see this mirror? It's like someone's holding this mirror to the moon. It's like so you can see some type of reflection or something. It's like you've seen this reflection before or ho however this behavior is. Like you've seen this shit before. And I feel like that's where it's like someone's tired of being pushed over. I feel like this is a female. This is the queen of cups. I don't know if this is a, a, a cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. And then again, this is cancer, Pisces uh, energy here. So I don't, I feel like this is a Virgo and water sign type of energy here with big cancer and Pisces energy right here. But it looks like there's a woman here that's left being in a place where she can't nurture and love and protect and give and do what the queen of cups does you know what i'm saying like instead she's being left feeling emotional feeling lonely feeling void of like the affection in the time like someone is 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 time is not being given to her okay because this person is someone somewhere else and it's like i'm not able to give my love and express my love and it's just making this person it's like I'm getting a lot of sleepless nights. I'm getting a lot of like literally when this person is going to work, it's like their chest and their heart is beating because it's like, is this someone that they're fucking with at their job? It's like, is this someone that they're fucking with? Are they messing with someone at the school or they dealing with someone? You know, it's like this person has so much stress and anxiety about what is being hidden that it is literally throwing them off balance and baby it's like that's why i say imagine all them unwanted thoughts and stuff to dissolve so that you can create room for the sacred union that you want it's like i'm tired of being pushed over i'm tired of accepting this i don't want this anymore this like this fool in the reverse it's like i'm not no fucking fool i'm not going to keep going forward and acting like because this is with this moon in the reverse and this and this Queen of Cups in the reverse, this is not healthy for this person. Like, this is almost driving this person insane, you know? Um, and this can be someone that may be addicted to tarot with this moon in the reverse. Um, it's like you constantly searching, searching for answers where it's like you could have developed, like, a dependency on, like, Forms of divination and things like that. But that's 
It's not bad if you use it in a healthy way. If you are watching tarot because you're trying to look into those divine masculine readings and those twin flame readings, trying to figure out where they are, who they're with, and the, uh, watching the karmic readings and shit. Oh, that's not healthy at all. You gonna go plum fucking crazy doing that shit. No wonder why you all upset and emotional, unbalanced, and you being driven to the brink of insanity like that. And you, it's fucking up your self esteem and your confidence in yourself. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, if that's what you're doing, please stop, baby, because that is not healthy. It is not healthy because. When you move forward in new relationships, you still going to have this insecurity and in you're never going to have a healthy relationship if you continue to do that. If you're going to use divination and tarot and all that stuff, you need to use it in a healthy way. Do you understand? There are certain people and there are certain places and environments in the tarot community that you can go through that can help you get over these fears. You don't don't watch things that are going to trigger you and it's going to feed this anxiety and it's going to feed this loneliness and it's going to feed this you know you just feeling bad about yourself and all of this worrying it's like don't don't watch things that's going to feed that do you understand what i'm saying watch readers that are trying to empower the divine feminine that are helping you find and rebuild that self-love in you because the more and more you concentrate and you focus on these fears you're doing nothing but creating it more and manifesting it do you understand what i'm saying and it will keep you in an environment where you're holding on by a thread still because it's like you still trying to find out the truth you trying to find and it's it and, and you're lonely and you're not being able to d demonstrate the love and you're not being able to be who you are truly want to be but it's because like you're scared this is like someone that's possibly scared to walk away because they don't know what the future holds so they can just stay there and be in this depressed situation um because they fear separation it's like they might not have any faith that things are going to get better or that they'll be able to attract someone else if they move forward. Like, this is just not good here. You know what I'm saying? It's like someone... Because I do feel like this is someone that is um, watching the wrong type of tarot. Like, you are watching stuff that... Yeah, like it's like stalking the masculine energy or stalking the feminine energy, trying to figure out who this person's been sneaking around with. Man, stalk your own energy and figure out how to love yourself better so that you can get over this and start attracting better things in your life. You are smart to not to walk out on faith and to continue to want to go forward with that because you do feel like you look a fool. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that you recognize that and that you are trying to Stop walking towards that direction and dissolve all of the unwanted feelings and thoughts into the light and create new room and opportunities for new possibilities in your life because you do want a sacred union. But it's like you got to get control because you're not doing anything but manifesting your fears and more challenges for yourself because... You got to get the balance and you do have to stop allowing yourself to be a pushover because if you feel like this towards somebody in your life and you're not able to express your love and you feel like all of this shit is going on in the background, you just need to love yourself enough to walk away from that. Do you understand? The more and more that you feed into that, the more and more you are aiding the monster. Do you understand? The Knight of Wands. Okay? So, I feel like this is someone that wants to express passion like is it's like you really do want a passionate connection you want someone to just come in and just sweep you off your feet and just y'all just right away into the sunset and just everything that you you want this sacred union you know what i'm saying like you want this person to come quickly fast in a hurry and just wrap you up in their love and you just want to live in bliss and things like that and and, and i fucking get it i, I get it um, and you might be attracted to a fire sign this time around. Um, and you don't want no one that is too old. Um, and you don't want no one that's too young. You want someone that is like in your age group, in your demographic, um, that's experienced. And I want to say that knows where they're going. 
and it can kind of keep up the momentum because I feel like a certain relationships that you've had in the past, like they would start off strong, but somehow it wasn't able to keep up the momentum and like Virgos put, you know, they strive for perfection. You know what I'm saying? They strive for perfection and that's what you want, you know? What is this? The tower in the reverse. So it's like you want to kind of be swept away and like brushed off your feet because it's like I, I'm trying to avoid disasters, you know? Um, and it's, this could even be you running away quickly because it's like I see... I might not know all of what's going on, but I feel like more and more shit is coming out as time goes by. And it's like, man, I need balance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need balance. I can't continue to, um, I can't be a pushover no more and just accept this. Because I really do feel like this is the Virgo being a pushover and accepting something that they re that really does not make them happy. And they're tired of the secrets. They're tired of the lies. Because it's starting to affect their personality and the way that they feel about themselves and their self-esteem. And anytime that it's starting to affect my health, okay? Where every time you walk out of the door, I'm having an anxiety attack because my mind is going all over the place. I don't know. No, no, no. I'm tired of living my life like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to avoid a disaster. And it's like I want to get away fucking quick, fast, in a hurry. Because it's like it's just not healthy for me anymore. And I'm tired of every time I'm turning around, like somebody is exposing some shit about... You sneaking off fucking somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Because one day I'm going to ride up on you with that hatchet. And then I'm going to end up the fucking jail. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, like, I don't... I, it's like, I don't I don't need to walk up on somebody for me to know what's going on. My anxiety and the stress and the anguish and all of the thoughts and all of the drama that I go through is a fucking enough. Like, I actually don't need to see it to believe it. So, how about I just get the fuck on? Because there's got to be something passionate waiting for me that's way better than this. Do you understand? I need a sacred union. Um, no, I need balance in my life. What is this? This is the Eight of Wands in the reverse. So um, you guys are definitely about to stop communicating with someone to avoid a disaster, a catastrophe. Because it's like the love that you want is on a totally different level. Like, I'm not going to continue to keep aiding and abetting. This is not no rest haven for hoes. Whatever the fuck you doing out there. Listen, go go do that shit. Go do it. You have all the opportunity to go do it now because I'm leaving for a sacred union because I'm, I just, I don't, I don't, I, I want to avoid this mess because it's not healthy for me. It's not healthy for me. And it's about time that I find a relationship that supports and challenges me as well and it might be time for me to challenge myself and stop being a motherfucking fool and walking towards a situation where it's a whole bunch of fucking mess what is this the seven of wands in the reverse again it's like i don't care about the gossip whoever this is it's like i don't want to hear about the gossip about who the fuck this person is with i'm trying to tell y'all there's going to be some shit that's going to come out the seven of wands represents gossip and arguments and fights and fussing and stuff and clearly gossip about what somebody slipping somebody damn clothes off right exactly there being some type of competition and a whole bunch of people having something to say about oh i seen this and they was out doing this on by uh uh no don't even tell me this shit because i'm not even talking to this motherfucker so don't even don't even come and bring me no fucking gossip about what so and so's doing because guess what i don't fuck with them no more okay that's for another bitch to be insecure about because it ain't gonna be me or they gonna be he, okay? All right? Brother man said, listen, my, my male Virgo said, I don't give a fuck about who this bitch was out with on Valentine's Day looking like a whore with a little, listen, okay? Fuck. I don't even talk to that bitch no more, okay? Look, some, uh, some other nigga can motherfucking help her feed her children and, you know, could be the one that be calling all the all time of night. I need help. I need money. I need this. Okay, them motherfuckers can get that shit took because I don't talk to that bitch no more, okay? They don't understand how much of a pain in the ass and how much I avoided a fucking disaster, okay? So, at the end of the day, um, don't come and tell me none of that shit because, baby, I'm good. 
I'm moving forward and I'm like to shit is coming to me fast and furious ever since I walked away from this shit I want a safe reunion I let all of that bullshit dissolve off in thin air I don't talk to this motherfucker block block bleedy blocks don't give a fuck don't tell me about nothing I don't care I don't care what is this? The Seven of Pentacles. I'm too busy waiting for true love to come to me. Because at the end of the day, the sex wasn't even all that. That bitch, look, loose booty like shit. Bitch been all out street meat. Okay? Lady, say it with me. Street meat. Don't nobody want no street meat. I want some long loving. Do you understand? This is the Seven of Pentacles. This is someone that is willing to wait. Okay? And be patient. All right? Taking stock. Taking inventory of what I have left after I done walked away from it. Because I'm not about to be no fuck. Fool. I need someone that can give it to me and I'm going to give it right back. I need someone that's going to be the yin to my gang that is going to be back. I'm willing to wait for that. Okay? I want someone that makes me weak in my knees, that makes the hair stand up off my back, that makes my body shiver, honey, that makes the pussy purr. I don't got time. Okay? For all this shit, this time I'm going to give you a fucking STD. I need a sacred union. I'm willing to wait for it. I'm willing to put my time in. I'm willing to plant my seeds. And I'm willing to invest in that energy. I'm not doing this shit no more. I'm not about to be sitting out here looking like no motherfucking fool. You understand what I'm saying? I'm tired of being pushed over. I'm tired of just accepting and just agreeing. Just to agree. To find balance. And say, no, 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 no. That's not balance and peace. This is balance and peace. Blocked, blocked, bleedy fucking blocked. I ain't coming your way no more. You ain't got to worry about me no more. You do not have to worry about Virgo the fuck no more. Whatever the fuck secrets is coming out, y'all keep them. I don't even want to know. Because that's for the next bitch. That's whoever the fuck they laying up with. Or that's for, for whoever the next nigga that this motherfucker laying up with. They're going to have to take care of her. Because it ain't going to be me. Absolutely the fuck not. Play from this. Like I said, Virgo ain't even about to play like this no more. Not in 2020. 2020 is show me the money season. Baby. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. We not even about to play with you like that no more. We not doing it. Listen, love yourself first. Virgo said, baby, I am good. I'm good. Because I love myself. One thing that I have learned is to love myself. And me allowing people to just do what they want and think that they can hide and cheat and manipulate. And I'm going to continuously keep feeding into their bullshit. And they, they just think that I'm... No, 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 no. No, no, to the fuck no. Give me some guidance over here off of this playfulness. Why are we not playing around? Why are we not playing around? Wedding... And unrequited love. Listen, I want marriage. I am not giving my energy to no more unrequited loves. Do you understand? I want a wedding. I want marriage. I don't have time for this. Didn't I tell y'all? It is show me the money season. You gonna show me that you're worthy. You gonna show me that you're worth this investment. Like Virgo said, I'd rather sit back and wait because at the end of the day, when I'm laid up with minds, we gonna be laid up like this. This is the one that's worth waiting for, baby. This is the one that's gonna add up to marriage, okay? I got my seven of pentacles. They gotta bring me that. Listen, you gotta show me the money. You gotta show me that you're worth my energy. You gotta show me. All right? No more unrequited loves. We're not giving to that. We're not even playing with that no more. Because we want marriage. We want commitment. Okay? Let me stop spending my resources. Let me stop giving all that I have. Okay? That's that seven of pentacles. Let me stop investing. Let me stop giving all that I have into something that is not giving me shit. But a goddamn, uh, uh, what, what is it called? Um, psychology goddamn bill. Well, I mean, a fucking psychologist and shit. Okay? No. Love myself. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Y'all said I'm not doing that pushover shit no more. Fuck that shit. Okay? I'll wait. Come on now. Y'all said I will wait. What is this? Attraction. Come on now. Ooh! And then this could be the one. Didn't I tell y'all? Chula, and, and, and look how you sitting up, baby. Look how you sitting up with this one. The one that you waiting for? Listen, you loving yourself, all right? Packing up your pinnacles, whatever you have left, and say, uh-uh, um, mm, mm -mm. No, let me love myself first, and that's going to help me level up. My attraction level. That makes me way more attractive. And motherfuckers going to be coming by trying to smell my roses. Okay? 
on rinds. I am reloading. And this one is coming towards me. This one is going to appreciate the smell of my roses. The bountifulness of my harvest, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This one is worth waiting for. And this could be the one. Yes, honey. Oh, yes. Yes, baby. I like that. I am loving it. Virgo, what is the word, y'all? Y'all say, uh-uh, we ain't come here to fucking play at all. And I'm not gonna lie, yes, that shit did have me feeling fucking insecure and had me in my bag. Oh, no. I'm not living like that, not this season. No, this season is the time to love that. This, 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 this is the season for everything to become even. Steven, why would I continue to waste my time with something that is clearly already unrequited? I can't do it. I'm not going to go to sleep. I'm not going to live my life. Listen, this mask right here, someone is most definitely hiding behind a mask. And I also think that Virgo is hiding behind a mask trying to act like, Things is okay when it's not. Like, I'm tired of just saying, no, everything's okay. You know, when someone comes to you, be like, are you okay? Are you okay? And you could clearly see that something is wrong. And they're like, no, I'm, you know, you're just trying to mask it and just trying to. No, Virgo is not doing that no more. It's not doing that no more. I need true recognition in the connection. You understand what I'm saying? I need true love recognition. And that moon energy, like I told you, that moon in the reverse, sometimes the moon will expose exactly something that you don't want to see so that you can be exactly who you're supposed to be. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to be exposed to some hard truths in order for you to wake up and really listen to your intuition to help you get balance and for you to recognize what you need to recognize. Do you understand what I'm saying? Seriously. Because a lot of the recognition that you're really looking for, first off, you had to give that self-love. You had to recognize you had to give it to yourself. And that made you more attra attractive. And now you were finally being recognized by the right type of energy, baby. You understand what I'm saying? You have to follow your intuition. That's what that moon means. You understand? That intuition. Yes, come on. What we doing? Oh, vibrations, baby. You are sending out the right vibrations now. This girl, <laughs> come on, girl, come on, Poppy Chulo. Oh, the summer's gonna be popping, y'all. Oh, the summer's cool. Oh, y'all, y'all keep on vibrating. Y'all gonna be recognized. Y'all gonna be recognized. Take the mask off. Stop giving this shit that is keeping you off balance. Your intuition is your intuition is piking. You know what I'm saying? It's getting piped up. You understand? Your intuition is being piped up. Your vibrations that you send off are heavenly in the summer. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. No more unrequited loves, baby. Oh, no. This is a new day. Give me guidance for the future. What's coming in the future for my... Why I keep... I wanted, I wanted to say Pisces. That damn moon. I, I really do feel like y'all messing with a damn water sign, boy. There's going to be a visit. But that's like in the reverse. Sickness. What? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, so... Did, okay, so... Did, did, these are... Okay, okay. Mm-mm. I have to read these in the reverse because... I typically do not read these in the reverse, but I have to because it tells a story. There's someone in this situation, all right? Um, basically realized that I have... I've got everything that I can get out of this situation. You know, like, I'm not willing to carry this burden anymore. Um, it's time to close the chapter and leave a lot of, of the burdens behind. Because if you see you see someone carrying a burden, like, this was all of the stress. This was all of the anxiety. This was all of the baggage that this person was carrying at one point in time. And as you can see, this is someone saying, um, I'm good. I'm good. It's time for this point of my life to come to a close. And I'm carrying, I'm, I'm traveling light. You understand? I don't know if you guys have been having a nice little smoke break for a second. Because I remember I told y'all y'all weren't talking to nobody. So I feel like y'all might be having a smoke break. And after y'all done came out of that smoke break, he said, um, yeah, this is the end. Yeah, there will be no more journey here. Okay? Because this is in the reverse. So I feel like the journey has end. Tens represents endings to go to the singular unit, which is new creations, new beginnings. 
being driven, being original, being independent, leadership. And as I can told you, this person is leading the burden behind and they're carrying light. Only thing they got is their little smoke pipe and their jacket, baby. That's all I need, honey. I don't need nothing from nobody. What is this here? A letter. Yes. So there will be some communications. And again, I told you this motherfucker said, I've learned everything that I was supposed to learn here on this journey. This is the 10. I've reaped everything I was supposed to reap. If it was good or bad, I got it. I got it good. Okay. I'm done with it. Ace of diamonds. Like I told you, this person has, I want to say, has transmuted all of that energy um, have been negative or positive and they turned it into something positive for themselves. So, um, this person is getting a lot of new information. Um, this is, this is, this is information card, um, an invitation, um, a letter of acceptance, um, a letter of validation or something, or just new enterprises, new businesses, new lucrative advances in their life. Like you being chosen, you being accepted, you being like the keynote speaker, you know? So it's like everything that you've learned in this journey and you deciding to stop it, it really does open up the door. It says, imagine all, all wanted things dissolving into the light and creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. And that's what you did. It's like, I don't, I don't want to be a burden on someone that don't want me to be there because you all doing something else. And I don't want to carry the burden of being somewhere with someone that's off doing something else. You know, I don't want nothing that you gave me. Absolutely nothing. You can keep it. I will walk away with the shirt on my back and I'm going to whatever I bought into it. I'm taking it all. All right. Good, bad or the ugly. I'm good. I'm good because I need something new. This is the something new. This is the something new. And some of y'all might be 46 years old. You're like, I'm grown as fuck out here. You know what I'm saying? And one thing that I've learned throughout this journey is how to love myself. How to create abundance with my faith in myself. You know? And that I can always love again. Someone is sick. Someone is sick behind this. Do you understand what I'm saying? Someone is sick behind this and someone is not doing too good. Because clearly you did take a trip to the country. So I don't know if someone moved out of the country. And as you can see, this person is with someone else. And they found a sense of security where they're in a safe environment that is like a, a, a good distance from where they used to be. And they found better work environment like this is a more healthier work environment so I don't know if someone just got a letter that they got accepted for a new job if you just moved out of the country or you moved to a different county or something like that the number 33 that's the number of creation that's the number of self-expression it's the number of communication um being social so wherever you are this is a place that works better for you that's a lot more stable in regards to your work environment. And I told y'all with this ace, that's definitely a more lucrative situation. So you guys might end up getting some type of communication where it's like my journey has ended here because I just got a letter that they want me to move for a new job. You know what I'm saying? Like something where I am like, I have a high level position basically and the people that I work with are pretty cool, you know, so it's like, I don't even mind moving like you've been vibrating, you're being recognized this you took the mask off and stopped trying to act like you were okay in a situation that was literally making you sick, you know what I'm saying? And then you did that transfer of energy like you walking away, you rid your, remember I told you, you left that burden behind, do you understand, you left with only the shirt on your back, because I'm not carrying none of that negative energy with me, 
I don't want none of the stuff that you even down to the socks and drawers, cups, plates. I don't want none of that shit. None of that shit because it might got that bad juju, that negative ass energy. I ain't carrying none of that shit with me. And you walked away from that shit and looked at the Ada um, Spades represents someone being trapped in prison, being bound to their own negative goddamn karma and energy. It seems like you might have left someone in the dust. You stopped talking to someone and you left all that negative energy back there and they stuck back there with that negative ass energy. Now they sitting in that energy anxiety now they sitting in that confusion now they sit now they see what it feel like to be up stressing and worrying is this person with this person are you cheap oh this was a transfer of energy baby this was a transfer of energy and you don't went on and moved on somewhere else and I, I really do feel like I don't I don't see any love here I just see that you're in a situation where you're more like you're better everything is you're being recognizing everything is vibrating on a level of security and safety like this is someone that has a safe job they have a safe work environment where they're able to flourish and like i told you in regards to this love virgo wants a sacred reunion they're willing to wait that's why they picked up everything that they had that didn't have your negative ass energy on it and they went and planted them seeds somewhere else. Clearly they done moved out of the country or moved to a different county. All right. They went and got them another motherfucking job and they're willing to wait on it. What is this? Yeah, there won't be no more visits. Okay. There won't be no more visits. You won't be able to come run up on me because you don't know where I work. You don't know where I live. You know. I feel like this has been a complete transfer of fucking energy right here. Because at first this person was leaving Virgo unbalanced and stuff like that. And Virgo picked up and left. And fucking left. And now this person sitting back sick. And Virgo is getting everything that they're... Virgo is going to get everything that they've been waiting for. Sometimes it's about taking that first step and transferring that negative energy right on back to goddamn sender. Can the church say amen? Amen. All right, you guys. So this has been y'all reading. All right. This reading was transferring energy back to sender, you guys. I fucking love you guys. I fucking love you guys because these motherfuckers is sick. It's sick. And this summer, oh, baby, shit's going to, mm, 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 mm. Y'all, y'all keep vibrating. Y'all keep them vibrations high, Virgo. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in March. Peace. Y'all hit that like button. If y'all want to book with me, go ahead and check that about tab out. Send me a message on Instagram. I'm gone. Outie.